Hello everyone, welcome to the parallel programming in C Sharp. In this video, we will see what is the parallel programming in C Sharp. So, so far we have understood like what is the thread and like how we do the asynchronous programming using the uh, task and the sync and async method. So, before proceeding with this video, I recommend please watch previous section where we discussed everything about the asynchronous programming. So, now let's understand what is the parallel programming. So, as the name says parallel programming in the sense like multiple tasks will continue synchronously, asynchronously means it will not work like one task is working after another task. So, it's not like that. Multiple process will go simultaneously. So, that is the parallel programming. So, parallel programming is a programming technique wherein the execution flow of the application is broken up into the pieces that will be done at the same time or we can say the concurrently by multiple cores, processors or the computer for the sake of better performance. And the like when we do any programming using the parallel programming, it use the 100% uses of the CPU. So it gives the fast result as well as like the application go very smoothly. And parallel programming is a type of programming in which many calculation or the execution of process are carried out simultaneously. So that is the basically parallel programming. Now in the C sharp there are two type of the parallel, pro, uh, parallel programming supports. One is the data parallelism and another is the task parallelism. So data parallelism like in the case of the data parallelism the operation is applied to each element of a collection. This means each process does the some work on unique and independent piece of data. For an example we have the parallel dot for method and parallel dot for each method. So we will discuss these two methods in the coming videos. And next is like the, in the case of the task parallelism, independent computation are executed in parallel. This means each process perform a different function or execute different code section that are independent. Like for an example, we have the parallel dot invoke. So that also we will discuss in the coming video. So that is all about the parallel programming in C-Sharp. In the coming video, we will understand more about the parallel programming with the example in the Visual Studio when we will do the programming over it. So that's it for this video. If you have any question and doubt, please comment. Thank you.